this is actually a very interesting uh, topic and sphere because there are a lot of uh, different studies done already in this field, although it uh, seems to be rather um, slowly developing uh, and not, not many uh, research is done compared to many other uh, studies done in epilepsy. But this seems to be quite important because sleep plays a huge role in epilepsy and everybody knows this probably from the Hippocratic times. Uh, but now uh, it's more important to know how the primary sleep disorders are impacting the epilepsy itself, its course, and also vice versa. Because if we have uh, comorbid sleep disorders uh, during epilepsy, and epilepsy is a chronic condition, so these patients uh, could have several interactions like sleep on epilepsy, epilepsy impacting the sleep, especially the seizures, especially the nocturnal seizures can impact uh, the course of sleep and cause some sort of sleep disturbance and daytime symptoms. Uh, we perfectly know that there are several syndromes in epilepsy which are uh, purely or mostly connected to the state of sleep. So the seizures occur mostly uh, while the patients are asleep. And uh, this relates somehow to uh, conditions like uh, SUDEP, sudden unexpected death in epilepsy and things like that. Uh, so we look into this uh, topic from different aspects. And uh, in my talk, I will focus on revealing uh, some primary sleep disorders like restless legs syndrome or narcolepsy. And uh, ad while addressing these comorbid sleep disorders, how we can improve the course of epilepsy. So it depends on the type of sleep disorder because uh, there are a lot. Uh, mostly we focus on uh, sleep-related movement disorders like uh, restless leg syndrome, for example, because it has a tremendous impact on uh, people's sleep and it can delay the sleep onset, it can interrupt the sleep course uh, through the periodic leg movements uh, occurring in the state of sleep. Uh, and we know that interruptions of sleep are not good to uh, epilepsy. Uh, so uh, with controlling these kind of interrupting sleep disorders, we can uh, quite improve the condition. Also, for example, sleep apnea. This is a well-known uh, sleep disorder, quite widely spread around different age groups from children to elderly. And uh, this means that any epilepsy patient can face this uh, interaction between these two frequent conditions. So with controlling this, the idea is to decrease the burden on sleep disturbance, disruption, and uh, thus improving the condition, especially in patients with so-called drug uh, resistance or intractable epilepsy.